Is GameStop becoming the Funko Shop of Canada? And I'm asking this considering that GameStop has gotten a lot of Funko Shop exclusives recently, like the Diecast Joker, which actually, I don't even think that's actually released in the States yet. Facet Chewbacca, amongst different Funko Shop exclusives as of late, especially with Toys R Us here in Canada, usually being the Funko Shop of Canada, but they are on their way of getting out of the Funko game, which a huge sign of that was the fact they weren't doing any pops for New York Comic Con for Toys R Us. I'm DK Wrestler, and in today's video, of course, we're going on a Funko Pop hunt to my local GameStop and seeing if we can find any of these, especially that diecast Joker. So let's get right to it. All right, so we are inside a GameStop, and of course, I am noticing some familiar items we've seen the last couple of weeks, including the classics pop of the Joker right there. That's normally a Funko Shop exclusive. And right here, we do have some of the regular pops, but I did notice here, and I don't think I showed this off the last time that we were here, is the New York Comic Con exclusive Momoko and Sabido 2 pack from Demon Slayer, which is pretty cool to see since this didn't actually release the day of New York Comic Con. Then right here, I did notice a couple of the new Stranger Things pop, including Jonathan, which I'm not sure if MD actually got this pop when he was at Hot Topic recently, but it's still cool to see that here. We also do have the new Amy Winehouse that's right here and then I think that's one of the Captain Planet pops which I'm not sure why it's in this section but it is what it is. I do notice here uh, Dilios. I don't know exactly how to pronounce but I believe this is one of the characters from the 300 movie that is a part of the Warner Brothers 100 set which is pretty sweet. More Stranger Things pops of Dustin and Henry aka 001. Oh and I guess right here they do have 11 also. And then of course right here we do see some of the GameStop exclusive Star Wars pops with a restock of the GameStop exclusive exclusive General Grievous, which is really cool to see, in case you didn't see that video where I originally showed it off. And then right here, we do got some new anime pops. I believe these are the said the uh, Seven Deadly Sins pops. We got, I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that name, but that one is King, and this one is Elizabeth. And then we have some of the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer pops, which MD Shady does have the entire set, so we don't have to worry about asking if he needs anything. Speaking of the movie 300, where I believe, or actually not 300, this is from, I think, Mad Max, if I'm not mistaken. It is the humongous which is pretty cool crazy that's not actually a six inch pop considering it's called the humongous and then once again in terms of new pops we got ourselves a couple of the new pops from parks and recreation including leslie nope which is pretty sweet and then we also have right here ann perkins which I don't remember if Ann ever had a Funko Pop, so this may be her first Funko Pop. Any Parks and Recs fans, let me know in the comment section below if she's had a Funko Pop before this one. And I actually did notice behind these pops, they're just hiding here. We do have the Ron Swanson as a part of the set, and I believe that is Andy Dwyer right there, but he's being covered up by Ruth. But other than that, it does look like we're seeing a lot of the regular pops we have seen. If there is any of those cool Funko Shop exclusives that I mentioned earlier, they probably had uh, sold out by the time I was able to return here and show you guys uh, what I had gotten, but I do have a Funko Pop with me that isn't actually on the shelf right now that I'm going to be able to show you guys off at the end, of course, with the pre-order we also have. But here are the rest of some of the regular Funko Pops that we normally see, including the new Aquaman set of Pops. And I guess before we leave, I did notice a couple of new comic covers, including the Harleen Quinzel, which looks really awesome in person, along with this Wolverine, which looks like it's going to tip over if I don't hold my finger there. Yes, it is a GameStop exclusive, and of course, it's got the GameStop Canada exclusive sticker. Pretty decent, even though we do have a ton of Wolverine pop comic covers, and it looks like there's another one behind it. Ooh, it's Phoenix, so it's a different character, but it is a common and not an exclusive, so still cool to see some new things here at GameStop. All right, so we are back from my local GameStop, and it looks like, unfortunately, we couldn't find pops such as the die-cast Joker and especially especially Facet Chewbacca, but as terms to other GameStop exclusives that I actually didn't film because the camera actually died on me at the time, is the GameStop exclusive Ultimate Warrior for WWE where it comes with like a Hall of Fame trophy. I thought that was really cool and I wish I would have showed you guys that off in video, but of course, like I mentioned, the camera died, but nonetheless, I picked up two pops today, which one of them was a remaining pre-order from a set of pops I'm trying to collect, and then one of them, like I teased while kind of giving a pan view of what GameStop had, is a pop that was on the shelf and I took off and I wanted to show you guys until this part of the video 
to show you guys what it was. So the first pop I'm gonna show you guys is the one that I had pre-ordered, and of course this pop is the Fun Run Dwight Schrute from The Office. It was the only pop out of the, I guess, three or four from this set that I needed because we got the other ones. Uh, the last time we actually went Funko Pop hunting at GameStop, there it is, the side view. Fun Run Dwight number was a $13.94 in the television lineup, the little pop art form. And then on the back, we have all of those pops now, including the Fun Run Andy and the Michael Scott with check and along with this one, along with the specialty series exclusive Meredith, which that was really cool and I didn't get to pre-order that because that was a specialty series exclusive. And there is the side art form of of the box right there the usual side art of the side profile right there with Dwight running there this is awesome I mean I don't mind Dwight Schrute pops even though there are like 15 of them considering that Dwight Schrute is my favorite character alongside Jim Helper when it comes to the office so I don't mind seeing the odd Dwight Schrute variant although a lot of people do get ticked off considering that we want to see characters like Gabe or Robert California any characters that haven't had pop forms before another version of Jim Dwight and especially Michael but not Nonetheless, I really needed this because now I'm officially, I think, three pops away from completing the office set, which include the new Michael Scott as Jesus. That's a Funko Shop exclusive. I actually think it dropped today or yesterday as I'm recording this. And then there's also the two pops from the collector's box that I pre-ordered back in 2021 that I'm still waiting on for my local GameStop, even though they have a ton in the States. Why don't you just ship them to Canada already? I'm waiting for mine. And in case you wanted to see my office setup, I mean, the bottom row here uh, is covered by a bunch of Funko sodas because I didn't know where else to put them. As terms of the rest of the office pops here, they all are uh, down below different exclusives and common pops, of course, the only common and chase bundles right there. I got both of them. And then as we move down, there are the Walmart exclusives. These are the placeholders for those two office collector's box exclusives from GameStop. And you can see a couple of the multi-packs, including the Scranton boys, because that's all I can fit for there or where to put them, especially also the Utica Takeover pack is right there. And then we actually only have space for one of the pops, even though I technically need five with the brand new pops. So I think very soon I am going to have to rearrange this Funko Pop collection. And actually very soon on the channel, we will be doing a rearranging my Funko Pop collection. So stay tuned for that video happening fairly soon, I guess. And then the last pop I'm going to show you guys is one that I was so excited about. I needed to snag it right off the shelf before filming in case anyone wanted to decide to grab it while I was filming it because it's for a set of pops that I adore so much. It may even be on the right side of me as a little hint, or I guess it would be the left side, but right side for you guys, I would assume. So that pop is the specialty series exclusive Stinky Pete from Toy Story. I was so excited to see this in store because I was so excited when I heard about this pop being announced. Funko didn't actually announce it like beforehand. It was just a bunch of retailers mentioning, hey, we got this pop in number 1397 in the Pop Disney lineup. There's the pop art form of Stinky Pete right there. Look at the way that Stinky Pete looks in that box. And you better keep him in the box because that's how Stinky Pete is in Toy Story 2. He needs to stay mint condition even though he escapes the box. Prospector, how about you? And this is also now my second pop in my collection that has that brand new specialty series exclusive sticker, which this is actually kind of harder to see than the other one because it's kind of made different. It's more of a different like foil because as you can see right now, you can really see the blue for Funko in specialty series, but you can't really see unless I get a glare with it like this, the gold crown as turns to the Funko logo right there and the exclusive logo right there. So really cool to add that sticker into the collection. And then there is the side profile of the box pop right there. It doesn't show Pop Disney because all the, I think, Disney and Marvel Pops just have Pop Stinky Pete art form. And there's actually a side view of what he looks like right there. And then on the back of the box, there's actually no Pop shown. It just shows Stinky Pete along with the Toy Story logo. So who knows if there's going to be any more Toy Story Pops being made down the pipeline. I mean, there's a lot that need to be made. I'm waiting for a Pop Town of the Pizza Planet along with a Pop of Sid. I think both those together would be awesome, but hopefully more Toy Story Pops are made soon. And there is the side profile of the box that they've been using the same one since the Toy Story 4 wave of Pops. 
where it's just like those stripes where it's light and dark blue. And then there is, once again, the pop art form of Stinky Pete with his axe. And then 1397, the pop logo. Yeah, this pop is amazing. And yeah, GameStop definitely brought the heat in when it came to this pop. And I had to snag it since Toy Story is actually like my number one franchise or licensor that I collect pops for. So I knew I needed to snag this. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's pop hunt, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're from Canada, let me know in the comments section down below on if you have found any of these random obscure Funko Shop exclusives like the die cast Joker at your local GameStop. But also let me know what should I have gotten besides those two pops. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video and hope to see you guys in the next one. One, two, three, I'm out of here.